when I first walked into church. I just felt all of a sudden a presence, uh, the presence of God, which at the time I thought it was good energy or, or, or peace or just something that made me feel something. It was so overwhelming and I couldn't stop crying and almost felt like all of this weight and like it just sort of started lifting off that it ruined me. Like I was never able to live without that or forget that that ever happened. After I left church, I just went home and stared at the ceiling for a couple hours. I, I didn't know what it was, but I just felt a peace that I hadn't felt in a very long time. Like, has this been available to me my whole life and I had no idea? Why don't people know about this? When my ex came back home, I ended up telling him that I had gone to church and, and that I loved it. And he was not very happy about it. So he told me I, I couldn't go. I would just make up stories and I'd say, I'm gonna go get my nails done and, and I would jump in a car and run to church for like half an hour and then run back home and um, or gonna go to a grocery store and run to church and then run back home. It's the craziest thought that God is waiting to give you the life that you actually need or, or to, to help you fill the void that, you know, whatever you're searching for isn't filling or, you know, to just start to heal you and to show you a better path, but we're just, we're so busy trying to figure it out on our own. That photo, yeah, like I keep it on my shelf as a reminder that that's who I was. I mean, there's such sadness in my eyes in that photo. Like there's, there's no faking, like you know by looking at that, that's a sad girl right there. That's an empty, there was nothing, there was no soul. There's nothing real there. There's nothing fulfilling about it. There's nothing real about it. There's no real relationships. There's no real friendships. There's no real love. And there's no vulnerability. There's no, there's nothing real. As long as you look like you're fine, that's all people care about. I just got to a point where, you know, I realized if something happened to me and I ended up in a hospital, I don't know who would come visit me. It just broke me because, you know, I, re I realized more than ever that I was completely, completely alone. I was definitely depressed. I was down. I was stressed out. I was, um, you know, just restless and had no peace and I couldn't sleep and just no, no purpose to anything in my life. Like I didn't, I didn't see anything that I should be getting up for in the morning. And I remember I used to um, take five showers a day because nobody could see me crying and shower was a safe place. And then dry myself, put my makeup back on, do my hair, cute outfit and out the door like nothing ever happened. You know, everybody loves the fun Esther, but nobody wants to deal with the Esther that's having having trouble. There's nothing worse than hiding behind a persona. 
it's much better to be broken than pretending that you're great. But I guess he allowed me to get to that point where God could actually reach me somehow because then I was listening. <laughs>